In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to sign up or how to register our online store using Magento Guide. So in this tutorial, we'll log into our account and we have a look at the dashboard. This here is the dashboard. You can access your dashboard anytime by going up here and clicking on my account. In the dashboard, you'll find all the information about your stores. Currently, I have only one store registered, the BG Computers, and therefore only information for this store is displayed here. Should I want to create another store, I can just click on open a new store here. So let's have a look at all the information displayed here for my store. First of all, there is my name, BG Computers. Then I can see some information about my plan. I'm currently using a free trial plan and therefore it's been displayed here and I can upgrade to a paid version here. Also I can see when my trial period expires. In my case that expires on the 3rd of September this year. My account status is displayed here and we can see that it's actually active. Down below is the actual website address of my site. So this is the address bgcomputers.gostorego.com Now I can change this anytime I like. Basically, I can just type in here a new name, so for example, computers, and if this web address is available, I can use it by clicking save here. However, I like BG Computers and I will just click on cancel. Then I can add my custom URL here by clicking on add. Also, if I have a look on the right hand side, I'll find some, some orange buttons that will actually allow me to manage my store to view my store. Down below, I'll find the button to actually cancel my plan. The frequently asked questions are actually located just down below and there you can find some FAQs about custom URLs and custom SSL. On the left hand side you'll find the navigation menu. Here all information about your account will be displayed. So let's go ahead and have a look first of all at the My Products and Services. Here you'll find My Go extensions. If you click on it, you will be presented with all the extensions currently installed in your store. At the moment I do not have or have not purchased any extensions and therefore this list is actually empty. So if I go a bit more down I'll come to the account settings. By clicking on this account settings a new page will show up where I can actually edit my account information. So I can edit my first, last name, my username, my email address, screen name, industry that I'm currently in and at the bottom some address information. Now I have entered some random information here because it's just because this is just a tutorial demo so when you're actually creating your own site when you're actually creating your own store you would need to enter all the information properly here so all the right information needs to be entered once you have done that you can just click on the save button and this will be updated so in the account settings you'll also find the address book change password edit avatar edit photo edit signature and edit profile Basically, if you click on the address book, you will be presented with all the details about your address. So there is a default address. This will be used for billing purposes. However, at the moment, I do not have a default billing address. Also, there is the default contact address. This is the address that I have just entered in the contact information. And as well, I do not have any additional address entries. So I can actually go and change my password. The password is for the account password. So here, first of all, I would have to type in my current password, then I would set up new passwords. Next down the list is the avatar. Basically, you can edit your avatar. You can upload and edit your avatar by simply choosing your photo and then just going upload avatar. Also, you can remove your avatar as well. So when you're using the forum and writing some messages, you can set up your forum signature here. This is basically what will appear just below your entry. So if you're writing a message and something else, basically you can enter your signature here. So for our purpose, I'll just write PG, PG computers, and then I'll click on update signature. And now I'll get the message that my signature has been updated. Basically, you can use some of the different text here, so you can make your text bold, you can make it italic, underline, you can use some quotes, you can also write some code and so on. You can actually change the size and the color of your text as well. So setting up your form signature means that you actually have a profile on the form. So basically, if you go here, you can edit and change your profile. So here you can enter some web page of your interest, you can also enter some of the your date of birth 
your location, occupation, interest and so on. None of this information is compulsory so you might as well just leave it blank but as more information you give about yourself and about your store the better it is for the customers and for your business. And then you can actually set some forum email preferences and email subscriptions. Going down the menu, we'll find the billing history. In the billing history, you'll find all information about your bills. Basically because I have signed up for a free version, there's actually no orders or no billings here. But if I have signed for a paid version, information will be displayed here. So each time that we are billed, an order is mailed to such and such email address. We can also view a printable receipt by clicking on the appropriate order below. Once again, we're using a free version in this demo video and therefore we do not have any billing history. Now the community is a very good place where you can actually find some relevant information and exchange the knowledge with many different users. And here you can actually view your subscriptions, you can actually manage the ignore list. So this is the list of people that you have actually chosen to ignore. So you can actually remove or add some more people to that list. You can have a look at the bulletin board and also you can compose new messages, check your inbox, check your sent messages, deleted messages as well. And then you can edit your message folders as well. Basically how this works is just like an email. So if you have used any of the Gmail and Yahoo or Hotmail, this is pretty much the same. The next one down the list is the buddy list. Basically here you will display all of the friends or buddies that you currently have. At the moment I do not have any buddies and therefore my list is empty. The block list will show all the users that you have actually blocked. So once again my list here is empty. So if we move down the menu a bit more we'll, we'll come to the developers. Now you would use this if you're good with coding or you have some professional coder that actually will write some code for you and therefore he or she will actually develop some new extensions for your site. Basically you would first of all have to read and agree to the agreement and then you can actually go and create some new extensions. Now if you're just using this just to set up your online store I would probably not suggest unless you really know what you're doing of actually going and creating new extensions. If you want however you can get many different extensions purchased or you can actually go here and develop some of your extensions as well. The last option here is the shared access. Basically what this does is actually it grants the permission to a particular group of users or just a particular user and what they can see about you or your store. So basically here you control what information users with shared access can see and what actions they can take while they have been logged in into your account. As you can see, I currently have no users and I can just easily click here and add new users. So let's go back now to the main page of the dashboard. Like I have said before, anytime you click on my account and then click on the account name, you will bring up this main page of the account dashboard. Apart from the navigation menu located on the left, there is also a menu running right at the top of your screen. Here you'll find some information about the products, consulting, training, resources. So here you'll find some information about the actual knowledge bases, support and so on. You can download some stuff, you can read some success stories of your customers and partners, you can find out about you can find out a bit more about Magento company, you can visit their blog and community. And also down here you have the support menu which I have not covered yet, and let's go into it now. Basically for all the accounts available with Magento Go you get 24-7 support. Now depending on the plan you actually choose, you can either get email and chat support or email, chat and telephone support. Now of course we are using a free version and therefore the telephone support is not available for this plan. 
However, here we can find some very important information about our Magento Go system. First of all, we can see here that everything is running correctly. And of course, if we do have some problems, we can always go and search for our answer in Solutions Library. To do so, just click on Search and Browse. Like I have said, all clients actually support the 24-7 chat help. So if you move up to the top, you'll find Magenta Guy Light Help. Currently, there is no one online and therefore I cannot have a chat with them and ask them to solve my problems. Here you'll find some information. All agents are currently unavailable. Please check back later or submit a ticket to have one of our tech support analysis contact you. And don't forget, our knowledge base has lots of answers and is available 24-7. So if you click on a knowledge database, it will actually take you to the knowledge database. Of course, you can actually just go to the resources up here and select the knowledge database. If none of the Magento Go tech support people are available for the chat, you can always go and actually post a new ticket. So what this does is actually you will post your question and you will be provided the ticket number and then Magento people will actually answer your question and you will receive the answer to your question. So once again let's go to the main page of the dashboard, we will click on the my account and then select the name of the account. Basically this is an overview of my account dashboard. The my account dashboard is very useful as all of the information will be displayed here and anything that you wish to do you can do from here by selecting appropriate options and moving to that particular page.